All right, my peeps, I'm here with the second match card prediction of the day for WrestleMania 30, of course. You know, I just need to get these out before Raw, because who knows, maybe come time for Raw, this match gets announced, Daniel Bryan vs. Triple H, and also Bray Wyatt vs. John Cena. So then, it no longer be a prediction. Although this is an obvious prediction, it's a prediction nonetheless, it's a match card prediction nonetheless. And who knows, maybe Daniel Bryan all of a sudden gets put in the... WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, although that's uh, really not likely. Anyways, so, Daniel Bryan, Triple H, you know, I have no doubt in my mind this match is going to take place. And although I would have liked to see Daniel Bryan win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, at this point it just makes a lot more sense to have Daniel Bryan take on Triple H and uh, just end that feud, or not necessarily end the feud, well yeah, kind of end it. Or have Daniel Bryan finally get retribution on the person that's caused him all these championship title matches. You know, took the championship away from him on not one, but two occasions. And uh, has since, you know, sent out guys like Kane and... Or was it just Kane? Kane, yeah, Shawn Michaels, Triple H's friend, also Superkid Daniel Bryan cost him the championship at Hell in a Cell. Basically... Because of Triple H, Daniel Bryan is not the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So it just makes sense that at WrestleMania, uh, you have Daniel Bryan finally get his retribution. Or at least, you know, get his match, get a match against Triple H to attempt to get his retribution uh, against the guy that's cost him all those title matches, as I've said a bunch of times now. So let me try and stop repeating things here. Now... Anyways, this matchup, I, th I think it was pretty clear that it, w it was going to take place maybe a couple weeks after the Rumble, when we realized that, hey, CM Punk is gone. CM Punk left. Because before the Rumble, it seemed like CM Punk was going to be taking on Triple H at WrestleMania, with CM Punk calling out Triple H, this and that. And... It seemed, or not, I wouldn't say it seemed, but there were rumors that maybe Daniel Bryan would take on Sheamus at WrestleMania. I'm not sure why or how that would have worked, or what would, what would the reason be for Daniel Bryan to go after Sheamus. Maybe Sheamus would have turned heel, or it'd be like a story where Daniel Bryan is trying to get retribution for his 18-second WrestleMania loss or something like that. I don't know, but bottom line, right now... The Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan, that's that's not going to happen. Let's be uh, realistic here. So, yeah, a couple weeks after the Elimination Chamber, or I mean, the, Ro the Royal Rumble, it seemed like this match was going to take place. But as the weeks went by and just Batista kept getting booed and booed, it just, it was just like, you know, it, it seems, I guess, like a possibility that Daniel Bryan could potentially not face off against Triple H at WrestleMania and instead be involved in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Because Randy, he's a heel, he's getting booed. Batista, he wasn't a heel initially, he was a face when, when, when he returned, but he was getting booed regardless. I mean, Del Rio, who people usually, you know, he doesn't get the biggest of reactions, he was getting cheered against Batista, and Del Rio's a heel. So then they turn Batista heel, and now we've got, you know, Batista versus Randy, heel versus heel for this championship at WrestleMania. And right now, people are still wondering, is it going to be like a triple threat match? Regardless of that, um, there was, you know, last week, people thought CM Punk was going to return. I thought CM Punk was going to return. And with me thinking CM Punk was going to return, I was thinking, alright, it was going to be either one of, or two things CM Punk gets involved in at WrestleMania. Either he gets put in, or put back in, in his feud against Triple H, and has a match with Triple H at WrestleMania 30. Or, he gets put in the championship match. So there were two possibilities there. I thought the chances of Punk being in the title match at Mania was more likely, because Daniel Bryan had already challenged Triple H to the matchup at WrestleMania. He had already issued that challenge, so... That was, I'd say, the only time where I was unsure if this match was going to take place or not after Punk left. But, as we all saw on Monday, or last Monday, CM Punk did not return. So, I think this matchup is pretty much a guarantee. The question is, when will Triple H accept Daniel Bryan's challenge? Anyways, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can click that like button down below. With that said, I'm out. See you guys.